everyone. I want to do a little tutorial on how to do uh, lettering using a chalk pencil. My favorite pencil to use is the General Charcoal White. It just seems to work better and really grabs hold of just plain acrylic paint. You don't have to use any special mediums. So I hope you can see that I have already um, filled uh, traced on the lettering for this project um, called Chillin' with my snowmies, this little snowman with his little snowmies. And so let me zoom in on to, into this a little bit better. Now I already have my lines in, and so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna come in and create a wash of color. And I'm gonna stay within the lines. I'm using just a little bit of turquoise blue with some white. And I'm gonna just go in between these lines. And I'm not too worried about it looks, what it looks like, because what I'll do is I'll clean it up with my chalk pencil. I just want to make sure I have a nice smooth and even application of color. I'm doing the wash first because when I'm done with the chalk pencil, I'm going to come in and spray it with workable fixative. And it really is hard to put a wash of color over something that's been sprayed. So again, this is semi-transparent paint. And I just want to make it like one or two values lighter than what's underneath it. I'm using a number three round. Um, and what I do is once I load it, I try to make it flat so that I try to make it flat so that it's easy to fill in. And I'm going to repeat this with all the lettering and I'll be back. Okay, so now this is all filled in with the wash of color and it's not going anywhere. So now I can come in and it's really important that you have a nice sharp chalk pencil. And then I can correct any problems. So over here, I want to make this a little bit more round. And if I make any mistakes, it would ever be so easy to come in and erase because this is just a chalk pencil. So you can see how that brightened it up already. And again, I see some background showing through over here, so I'm going to just come in and just rub it in. So I was able to really reshape my lettering. I'm going to bring this out a little bit more. And this really is a very easy way to create lettering. To create lettering once you've transferred it on, it is important to keep this sharp. So I have an electric uh, pencil sharpener right here. Now let's say I just go over here and I just really make a mistake. I want to show you how you can easily come in. You can come in and just clean it up with water in this brush. When you are cleaning up, if you do make mistakes, it's that you don't touch any of your other lettering. And now I'll let it dry and once it's dry I can go in and just continue on my merry way.
I can enlarge, I can reduce. Lots of things you can do and you have a lot more control with a chalk pencil. And I'm really liking the way that's starting to look. I wanted it to be lettering that added to the design, so I didn't want to come in with dark lettering. But I didn't want to just base coat it white. I wanted it to have um, the same feel as the background, but yet stand out. And so this is just such an easy way to do lettering. I thought this would be perfect. So I'll finish this up and then I'll come back and I'll show you what the whole thing looks like. Now on this design I have a little bit of scrolls indicating that there's steam coming off of his hot chocolate. And so I just want to highlight this a little bit. So I'm going to come in and I'm just using this pencil to add a few highlights. This will keep the highlights nice and soft. And this is so much easier to control than a uh, liner brush would be. And that one's underneath, so I'm only going to highlight a little bit of it. You can see how it just really made it pop. Now over here, I have some little bubbles. So I'm going to just go along the outside edge and bring out the outside edge of the bubbles. It's just so much easier than using a liner brush. And I, what I like about the chalk pencil, as opposed to a pastel pencil, is it's just so easy to clean up. So now what I can also do is just brighten the, the um, highlights that I put in with paint to just a few of them. And you can see how cute those bubbles are. So now what I'll do is I will just simply go and I will spray this with some workable fixative. And then if I wanted to, I could come in in the same manner that I have the snow on top of here. I can just roll it onto the top of the lettering. So I sprayed it and I felt as though it, um, and I put some snow on the top and I felt as though the letters still weren't popping enough. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going in with my chalk pencil and just brightening it up a little bit by adding some thick thickness to it. When you spray it, the lines themselves will diminish a little bit. And again, I sprayed it with workable fixative. So you can see that this is looking a lot brighter this is looking a lot brighter here than over here and that's just my goal is to just I want it to show up but I don't want it to compete with the white in the rest of the design and with the chalk pencil this is just so easy to do
if you wanted to brighten up the snow just a little bit, you could come in and add a little bit of this white to the snow because the snow was a, um, a tint uh, with some turquoise blue. And it's easy to do that because we're working with the pencil instead of with paint. So let me zoom out so you can see the whole design now. So I've zoomed out so that you can see the whole design. And I like the way the lettering is supporting the design. It's kind of equal to the snowman. Um, and it was very easy to create with the chalk pencil. So if you're interested in getting the pattern pack for this, it's on my website at debbycole.com. And... Um, and the instructions include the line drawing and all of the different color paints that I use to create this design. So until next time, I hope that painting always brings you joy.